Hello, welcome to the Monday, August 3rd, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Jan took a look at what pages are being hit on his web server if he adds certain very popular among bot pages to his robots.txt file. Robots.txt, of course, is supposed to prevent good bots from searching and indexing those pages. But, well, uh, this way he sort of is able to essentially identify the bad bots. So anything but your Google and other search engines. No surprise, WordPress is right up there. Now, I stopped sort of mentioning all the different WordPress vulnerabilities, in particular in plugins. Jan's results also confirm another observation that I had. It's not the missing patches that usually get you with uh, these web applications. It's the weak passwords. The Top hit is usually towards login pages, and that's uh, what we see here with Jan's result. Over the weekend, I actually uh, took a close look at uh, our honeypots to see if we can detect any Cisco exploits. Remember, Cisco last week had this fairly easy to exploit directory traversal vulnerability. Well, uh, I emulated the respective Cisco VPN gateway and haven't really seen any exploit attempts, but what I keep seeing is attempts to log in with weak, well-known passwords. So keep that in mind. It's not just about uh, updating and applying patches. It's also a lot about configuring uh, these devices correctly and monitoring them so you're able to detect unusual logins as they occur. Now, talking about some patches that you may want to apply if you're using KeePass with KeePass RPC. Well, uh, you should update immediately. And the reason being that KeePass RPC does essentially allow any website access to all of your passwords. Now, first of all, not all KeePass users have KeePass RPC installed. It's an optional add-on that you only need in certain browser configurations to better integrate KeePass with your browser. The problem here is that uh, the browser extension has to authenticate to KeePass, uh, the binary. And they did implement a protocol uh, to accomplish that, but uh, that uh, protocol wasn't implemented it quite correctly, allowing essentially anyone to connect to KeePass using KeePass RPC. And KeePass RPC does implement a fairly straightforward JSON RPC API that runs over WebSocket. So essentially JavaScript for loaded from any web page would be able to then connect to KeePass using this authentication bypass vulnerability. Make things a little bit more interesting, the patch has to be applied uh, manually, so it's not a super straightforward patch, but uh, not also that terribly complex that you shouldn't be able to do that right after you finish listening to this podcast. And last week, I mentioned vulnerabilities in QNAP's network storage devices. Well, in addition to a firmware update that was available last week, QNAP now also updated its malware remover tool to recognize and remove the QSnatch malware that was the favorite install using this recent vulnerability. And British Consumer Protection Agency, which has looked into some of the problems in getting Android smartphones updated. Of course, there is no sort of uh, consistent update policy across all the different manufacturers of Android phones. And one of the problems that you may run into is that a phone that you purchased a few years ago will no longer receive any updates. In the article, they focus in particular on used phones that you may purchase. Of course, they are sort of by definition, not the latest generation usually, but one that's being replaced as a user upgrades their phone. And after reading the article, I was wondering, well, uh, what does it look like with iOS 
iOS seems to be doing not too bad overall. Of course, they have a consistent policy given that all iOS phones are made by Apple. For Apple, it looks like currently iPhones are supported for about five to six years after they have been originally released. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.